I was going through a really, really difficult time in my personal life. And one morning after many, many years of extreme angst and wondering why the world felt the way it did, I asked for a sign. I prayed. I got down on my knees and I said, give me something to help me understand what this world means and why love feels like it does, why life looks like it does. And the very next day, all of a sudden, I started seeing the numbers 1111 everywhere. And it was multiple times a day. It was bizarre. It was magical. It was something that made me thought I was going a little crazy for a second because there were so many. And then I started to realize that this was a special tapping that I was being communicated with. The signs were showing up on license plates and billboards and mailboxes and store receipts. The 1111 actually showed up on a bulldozer <laughs> across the street from where my house was in a lot that was being cleared. And probably the most magical moment was a moment where I had to help someone that meant a whole lot to me go into rehab. And when I went back to the hotel, I was stopped by a railroad track and the railroad bar came down and all of a sudden this train passed me by. And would you believe it? Every single boxcar had a giant 1111 on the side of it. Now I know that sounds pretty bizarre, but signs are mystical. They do appear in many ways. And the numbers were really just how it started for me. I could tell you story upon story about animals and insects or specific books or conversations or all kinds of other signs and symbols that have appeared. And that's why it's been such a beautiful part of my own life's work. Because what I've come to understand is that this is a beautiful universal language, one that creates greater connection, expansion, and opening of the heart. It is a language that helps us to deepen into trust, trust of ourselves, trust of life, and trust with the universe. And so I hope you are exploring and noticing your magical signs that are appearing to you. I hope that you allow them to feed you and to guide you, to be the pathways, the turning points, and the divine guideposts that they are designed to be. In love, of love, with love, and as love, be well.